Behind me, one of my greenhouses is almost all the way down. They were existing greenhouses. I tried to make good use of them, but we have livestock, which means we have grain, which means we have rats because we also have a lot of water. We have a lot of rats which like to make their beds in the uh, greenhouses. We tried cats, but the cats would then dig and pee and do their own business after killing rats. And they would never get all the rats. And we just had a problem with producing things in greenhouses. So sold it, brought in some capital for the farm. It's going to fund some projects and some things going forward, putting in that new orchard fence and uh, getting a proper feed storage container, stuff like that. But I'm excited that this greenhouse is coming down. We're making good use of this greenhouse. I made a greenhouse within a greenhouse, and I'll do a video about that. And uh, yeah, just so excited to see that one down. So going from two greenhouses to one, which is good for the livestock farm because we don't need it. We don't have the tillable land to use of it. And uh, life is good. It's a good Monday. Tuesday, whatever day it is, it's good. Hey guys, it is whatever day it is, Tuesday, and uh, this morning we spent time, Kate and I spent time filling in the holes where we had the poles for our new orchard fence up in the orchard. The warmer weather is setting in, the trees are starting to bud, some of them, uh, or the beginnings of them, and we want to get this fence project completed before we suffer any deer damage uh, and our trees, you know, are set back a little bit this year. So making a push to make that work, trying to balance all the elements that we have going on farm here. Uh, what I'm doing is going through in the woods. Uh, I had all the poles, the larch poles that I had taken out of the hop yard and we cut those in half and used those for the interior poles. For the corner poles, because we're using high tensile electric, I wanted to get thicker and longer poles. How many po times can I say poles in a 60 second video? Uh, so the longer poles, I'm getting dead ash trees from my woods, cutting them down and using those for the corners. That's it. So that's Wednesday morning and the pigs are doing all right. We got a little bit of a diarrhea spout that uh, went on, but they're all healthy and eating. As part of giving them some minerals and iron in particular, uh, I gave them some shovelfuls of dirt. I do that like every other day. They eat it down. I don't want to go too crazy with it, but uh, recommended by the vet and the breeder that uh, giving that little shovel full of dirt gives them worms and roots and plants because I always make sure I get some little grass with it and weeds and things so they get a little bit more mineral in their diet. They're like chewing on my jacket already. Let's see this. And then they get little dirty noses. They're so stinking cute. Hope you have an awesome day. See you guys later. We've been up in the orchard the last two days putting poles in. This is our gate. I made the gate and the corner post super big. They're thick and really tall because I want to put birdhouses on the top of them in all the corners of the orchard. Uh, get some beneficial birds in here. You know, a lot of fun. I'm trying to like give you a view behind me. I did use ash trees for the post. I got a comment. Uh, I used ash trees. I know they'll rot in like maybe three to five, five to six years. Uh, that's why I went with like 14 inch diameter logs. Um, I was crunched for time and crunched for time and crunched for money. Uh, so I used what I had in the woods. The rest of the poles are larch, natural hardwood uh, that we use in the hop yard. And those should last, blah, blah, those should last much longer. Whew. But yeah, gate's pretty fun. It's impressive. I want to put like a board up here that says Camps Road Farm Never Sing Spirits for our distillery guys. We'll see. Talk to you guys soon. I'm going to be the first to eat. Mm-hmm. They're pushing and shoving. They're really sniffing me. Dad, they're really sniffing me.